This is Clark with uh, Learn to Blog. Um, today we are going to be working with uh, affiliate links. Uh, Thirsty Affiliates uh, is the name of the plugin. And uh, what this is is an affiliate link manager, which is great for um, if, if you're going to be an affiliate link marketer and you're going to use multiple, multiple links and stuff like that from, say, ClickBank or something like that then I would highly recommend a plugin to manage all of those for you. In addition in, in addition to managing all of these, it also cloaks your links so that um, apparently it's a thing uh, for nefarious people to hijack your links. I'm not really sure. I, I don't know what that is, but I, I, I heard someone talk about it in a video. So I thought I'd mention it. Um, this protects against that sort of thing, and it cloaks your links by letting you kind of rename what that link looks like. And uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to add a brand new link to Affiliate Links. And by the way, we're right here um, in uh, the Affiliate Links uh, uh, Manager where you can see all your links. And then um, what we're going to do next is I am going to head on down here to the link name. Now this will actually show up in the link, so uh, be careful what you call this. So I'm going to call this um, WordPress. Um, and then the destination URL. Now, I mean, this will be where your affiliate link goes to, but and you'll want to call this whatever your link pertains to. Um, so the destination URL, just as a sample here, I'm doing uh, WordPress.com or we'll do dot org. WordPress.org. And you can attach an image to this, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna upload an image. Or not upload, I, I think I already have one in here. WordPress image right there. Great, there it is. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and save this link. Now, obviously, there's some other options on this page um, that you know you can apply to this, and you can kind of experiment with this. You can uh, you can do SEO settings for this link. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, actually, uh, within the settings, let's uh, let's kind of go into the cloaking thing and uh, talk about how to uh, keep SEO from following these links, because um, from, from what I understand, it's it's not a best practice. Uh, let's see here. So within, oh, I'm sorry, I went to the wrong one. Uh, settings, there we go. Okay, so right now our link prefix right now is offer. What that means is it's going to say the name of our URL. It's going to say our link prefix. Actually, it'll, I think it'll say our, uh, yeah, it'll say our link prefix. And then it'll say um, that name that we gave our uh, affiliate link. Um, so, and that's, it's going to show that instead of the actual affiliate link. So we have all these to choose from. Um, and I put in, say, oh, I don't know. Let's do product. And yeah, so you can use uh, no follow on links. So uh, search engines don't follow it, which is, um, like I said, I, I heard that's a, a preferred practice on those. Um, let's see here. And I think that's that's it. That's all, that's all we really need. So we're going to go ahead and save all changes there. Feel free to just kind of you know, check stuff off, post links, see what happens if you want to. Um, and let's see what else we have. Let's uh, let's post this link. Let's let's do that. So I'm going to go to posts, and I'm going to go to this one right here. This is one we've messed with before. Yeah, yeah, we have. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this short code we did uh, in an earlier video. And I am going to put in an affiliate link. So notice up here at the top, we have the two different options here. Um, we have add an affiliate link and quick add affiliate link. I'm going to do quick add. 
So quick ad is for uh, if you want to create a brand new affiliate link right then and there. It'll add it to your uh, to your manager. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to do the one we just did. So from what I understand, also um, there it is. There's our there's our link. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add that by clicking this little link button here. So that, that inserts just WordPress if we hit the link button. If I hit the return and uh, do it again, we can add the image that load in. So there's a little image button here. What's this button over here? So you can insert a short code as well. So we're going to go ahead and enter the image. That's that. And click on that. And there's the image that we did. Now if I click on this image and I inspect that uh, that link here, we'll take a look what that link look like looks like. So uh, ultimateblogdesign.com slash demo and then product WordPress. So it's the, the the little name I chose earlier in the settings and then the name I gave to the um, the affiliate link. And um, no matter what your link actually says all the way across, um, it will clone or uh, cloak, excuse me, not clone, cloak your link to uh, to this type of format, so which is great. <clears throat> and uh, that's that's affiliate links. It's pretty cut and dry. Um, you you do have the ability to create uh, categories for your affiliate links to uh, better organize them if you have several. So I would definitely recommend. Um, to doing to do that if uh, if you have if you have uh, several links that you're trying to manage so there you go um, if you have any questions about that definitely do a Google search uh, for uh, thirsty affiliates um, definitely do a, a YouTube search for thirsty affiliates and you will you will find um, so many videos explaining more in depth what that is but this is uh, this should be able to get you started. Thanks and take care. Have a wonderful day.